Being the youngest of five, I feel like my sisters and my mother set forth a lot of expectations to be a person of means. And so coming here to ASU means a lot to me because they gave them the tools to be able to do that. I feel like I'm carrying on tradition here by getting my master's and being able to be a person of means through social work and public service. Something that gets brought up a lot in journalism is giving voice to the voiceless. And a couple of us kind of have beef with that phrase because it's more about uplifting voices that are already there. People are pretty capable of speaking for themselves. You just need to listen to them. One of the other reasons I chose ASU is because their online electrical engineering program is one of two in the country that is accredited. Engineering touches everybody's lives every day. And as such, I want to make people's lives better by making electricity more available or communication through antennas and radars more available to everyone. My research is a way to help myself, to educate myself more on what I experienced or how to heal. And it's also just really important because I see a lot of people who have similar issues or have had similar experiences to what I have. Doing this research will hopefully really help them in the future. I believe that education is beautiful and it's a wonderful thing and Educators directly impact someone's relationship with education. So it is a challenging career and I think that the community we built here at ASU is what helps make it better. Two big mentors for me were Dr. Cheryl Schmidt and Professor Anna Murphy. They really pushed me to stay involved at the university and it was Dr. Schmidt that really pushed me to go to convention where I presented a resolution topic to the National Student Nurse Association where it was adopted for the work that had been done here at Arizona State University. ASU has done a great job of letting the tribes know that they are aware that they are existing on land that traditionally belongs to the tribal nations, especially in this region. Here in Arizona, we are surrounded by tribes. Having this Indian law program here, you know, it's been a great experience. It wasn't until I came to ASU and I was really diving into what I was interested in and had the liberty to do it that I started to get to know myself, my interests, my experience here in terms of my education and how it's changed the relationship with my parents and my own with education has been very significant. Like, I don't think I would have figured that out had I not decided to come to ASU. I know that I can 100% go back to any of my previous professors or faculty members still and ask them questions and that they're 100% behind me and support me for the rest of my career. I've grown more in the past two and a half years that I've been in this program than I think I've grown total in the rest of my life. Having that global mindset is really important in the current time. You as an individual can contribute to the society and I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity and work towards myself and learn more about how I as an individual could contribute to the society and to the world. ASU has been instrumental in, in my research, in my development as a scientist. The, the resources here, the collaboration, the willingness for people to help is unlike anything I've ever experienced. The disciplinary approach of ASU, that's one of the reasons that I applied to ASU. In other universities or countries, if you are studying energy, you have to be an engineer. And here you can be a social worker, an economist, an engineer, and you can study energy as well. One of the things I liked about the ASU Masters of English program is that you could finish really quickly if you wanted to. And I'm like nearing the finish line and I'm so, so happy for that. Art is always already technical, it's always already technological. And ASU is a place where you're able to not only work with cutting edge technologies, but also begin to understand their implications socially and beyond the lab, beyond the art studio. I'm hoping as I look forward that I can be a voice, somebody who participates in our democracy, to be able to make a difference or a change within our community. What's important as I graduate and as I celebrate this accomplishment is that I remember that getting the master's was a lifelong process to get to here, but now learning has become a lifelong process for me. I have to continue to learn at the same rate, learn at the same level, 
ASU has taught me so much. Now I can apply that to the real world and let the real world continue to teach me and continue to educate me going forward.